So we're here to talk today about upcoming events uh, for a United and in particular you were saying the player of the year which we all know we all love that at the end of the year. Um, last year's one was particularly good, very enjoyable event. Yeah look last year was, was great, last year was the first time we'd really we'd taken it away from the club, the, 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 the hospitality suite as we know isn't you know, isn't huge so we had to make the decision to, to go elsewhere um, and we had doubled the amount of people that, that the hospitality suite could hold, 240 at the Carlton um, and it was fantastic, it was a great night, great to have you know, all the players there but more importantly it just felt like a night where every, everywhere you looked around you know, it was people that you'd supported the club with you know, throughout your life and it was, uh, it was just a fantastic night, um, we had a few wee extras on the night about you know, releasing the strip and a couple of special wee prizes and, but in general I think everyone thoroughly enjoyed it and it was great it, so um, yeah it was it kind of vindicated the, 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 the decision to move away from the from having it in the hospitality suite. How many people went to the one last year? It was 240 so 240. double the amount that we could we'd get in the hospitality suite yeah. And are you trying to expand again this year? Yeah yeah that's um, obviously right now we're, we're in Arthur Street Kitchen um, so it, We've already released that. That's where this year's is going to be. Um, and if we sold out, we would have 370 people here. So that would be, <laughs> you know, again, uh, you know, a big increase on, on last year. Can I ask? Was the demand greater than you could have uh, had last year as well? No, we, we pretty much. It was pretty much. We sold pretty much exactly how much we could have. I mean, that that was you know that we had a capacity and we, and we pretty much hit capacity. Um, so you know, it was. Uh, it was great, but I think seeing the, the footage and the videos and the photos people had from the night, I think you know anyone who wasn't there probably probably wished that they, they had been. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, we're trying a slightly different format again for this year, and um, you know, hugely looking forward to it. Now, why did you select Arthur Street Kitchen? We selected here. Chris Steele that, that runs Arthur Street Kitchen, the State Store and the Hollybush Inn have been huge supporters of ours over the last four years. Um, they have put in a significant amount of money to the club in terms of advertising. They support all our events um, and it, funnily enough it was actually a chat with, uh, with Moff one day that, that I had and um, we were kind of talking about the Player of the Year doing and um, he, he kind of said you know let, let's have it in Arthur Street Kitchen and I think the boys have all just been to see George Bowie here. And so the players have had a couple of nights out in here. Um, it is a fantastic venue, it's a lot of money spent on it. Um, and as I say, one of the things that we always want to do is, is try and give something back to people who give something to us. Um, these guys have, have given a lot to us and um, to be able to host an event like this right in the centre of town, um, at a place that's given us so much back and it feels fantastic. And, we just can't wait. Yeah, anyone who's been to the open day knows the great food that you can get from them. In fact, Absolutely, yeah. In fact, my favourite bit is usually when we're up on stage doing stuff for it, you come along with one of their burgers to, to feed us, and it is a great thing. And, and that maybe takes me to, what about the food on the night? Yeah, the, 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 I mean, the format in terms of the night will be fairly similar to all our Player of the Year events. Um, it's going to be a half-six kick-off. We'll ask people to start arriving at half-six. We'll get kick off, kicked off at seven o'clock. Um, and the, you know we'll have a, kind of a couple of brief speeches to start the night, but then we're going to have a, a three-course buffet per table, which is a wee bit different to, to what we've normally done. So nobody has to go up and um, you know go and stand in big queues for the buffet, or you know wonder if they won't um, you know if they won't get enough food. There'll be a three-course buffet per table, so you know everyone's going to get plenty of food, and anyone who's ever been into any of Chris's places will know the food is is absolutely fantastic so um, especially obviously for somebody like yourself you, <laughs> the, food will be, uh, the food will be one of the main points of the night um, so we'll have the food and we'll move on from the food to the awards um, and again you know we'll, we'll have a, a wide variety of awards as, as we always do for the, the player of the year the young player of the year um, you know we'll have, we'll have a few kind of congratulatory things to, to do um, we'll also have you know various supporters clubs there on the night who will give their player of the year awards um, and that will kind of take us through the, the first point of the night. Right, I've, I've noticed, and it's just come to my mind because I was looking at the notes here, that um, there's two different types of prices and tickets. Yeah, it's, it's another 
basically we can get 170 people to the first part of the night. So that's dinner, the awards, um, you know, hopefully we're going to be able to release the strips in season strips on the night as well, which would, be, which would be great. Uh, I'm not sure we'll have uh, Moff and Jamie doing it this year, but we'll, um, <laughs> it will have, uh, we'll hopefully we'll be able to release, release the strips on the night. So um, the first part of the night we'll, we'll, we'll get, you know, incorporate all that in. It's £30 for a ticket. Um, we sold 50 on day one, so, um, you know, uh, we've probably only got 120, 130 tickets to actually sell once you take away the players and um, directors, etc. So that's going to sell out. I would, I would expect it in a week or two um, at the most. Um, but the great thing about having this kind of night here is that we're, we're having two separate nights effectively. If, if you pay, pay a ticket for £30 and you, and you get the whole first part of the night, but you're also here for the second part of the night, we've hired two DJs from Glasgow um, who are going to take us right through to 2am, potentially 3am. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be unbelievable, something completely different to, to anything we've ever had. Um, so. It, if you don't want a ticket for the first part of the night, but you want to come and, and, and experience the DJs and the entertainment part of the night, then the tickets are £10 for that and you get in at half past ten. The first part of the night will be completely done and you can enjoy the, the DJs and music. Uh, and the players will be here all night, um, you know, for anyone who's come in and wanting to, to speak to them or get pictures, etc. So I know they're on sale already, but where can you get the tickets? The tickets for um, both parts of the night will be available in the shop. Um, and the tickets for um, the, the second part of the night, the £10 tickets, you can get them in Arthur Street Kitchen as well. So you can pick them up any time. Well, that's quite good. Two locations for that. that that's really good. OK, uh, I noticed another one that's coming up is the Somerset Sleep Out. That's quite hard to say. Um, now, that's coming up. Can you tell me a bit about this and what it's for? Yeah, it's, it's to, to raise awareness of, kind of homelessness and, and poverty. Um, it came about, we, we had a meet with me and Kelsey from Seascape, uh, myself and Roy, and they alerted us to the, the, the issue of, of, of homelessness locally, which um, probably not a lot of people are hugely aware of. The scale of it, we certainly weren't, uh, it, was, it was quite eye-opening. Um, and we, we talked through the possibility of having a, a sleep out at the ground at, at Somerset. Um, no, I remember as a child that maybe even now actually I think about it. I always thought, you know, sleeping at Somerset it would just be magnificent. Um, you know, why would you want to sleep anywhere else? Um, and now we've got the chance to do it and raise awareness for a, raise awareness and money for a very good cause. Um, so it's yes yeah, on the, the sixth of April um, and it, it it should be fantastic. Um, okay, what's happening on the night? At so on the Somerset? night so on the night Basically, it's going to be a seven o'clock kickoff. Um, it's five pounds for anyone who wants to to enter effectively or to, to sign up for it. Um, and on the night, you, you come along and, and you kind of sleep on the park, sleep on the terracing. Um, all, all you need to bring along is there's some warm clothes, sleeping bag, maybe a bit of cardboard or a mat for underneath that, and that, that's really all, all you need to bring along. On the night, we're going to have the um, Chris and the, the stage door and the, the Arthur Street guys will be doing the a barbecue. Um, which will provide food for the night. Um, unsure yet whether we're going to be able to have an actual bar at, on the night, but that's that's certainly something that we would, we would quite like. Um, and we will have entertainment throughout the night, and some music as well, um, which which we'll be able to release details about near the time. Um, so that there should be plenty of things going on. And, and again, it'll be like Player of the Year, or similar to Player of the Year, in that we've got a lot of um, you know people that you know that are there and. You know, I, I can. I think of a great atmosphere. You know, something completely different. Um, and of course, there will hopefully be plenty of non-air fans that will want to go and, and raise some money as well. I was very interested. I was talking to you about this beforehand, and I was saying to you, you know, some people might think this is not the right thing to do. You're having food, you're having yeah. drink, you're having bands, you're whatever. But you actually have explained it incredibly well, and I'd like you to try and tell yeah, people Yeah, we're not. I mean, what we're not doing is, is saying to people, you know, come along and, and kind of be a homeless person or experience, you know, what a homeless person does for the night. What we want to do is we want to raise awareness of this issue and we want to raise money. And, and you know, if we have a, a barbecue on the night, if we have entertainment, then that's going to help us to, to raise awareness and to raise money. And, and that's the, the key points of the night. I noticed some people have uh, been posting on Facebook and everything, you know, sponsoring me. I noticed you said, was it £5? Is yeah, it yeah this it, 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 all the information is on somersetsleepout.org and if you go on there, that, that, that's how you can sign up effectively. 
So everybody who wants to do it is five pounds. Five pounds just to, to, to enter the sign up. Um, and of course, after that, it would be great if you wanted to raise funds. And as you say, you can see online that there's, there's plenty of, of people doing that. Um, if, if anyone watched the video the other, the other day of uh, Benito and Valentino interviewing um, Lawrence and, and Doc, they, um, the two boys themselves have already raised over £600. So, you know, yeah, of course, if everyone could raise money, it would be fantastic. But it's £5 to enter, and, and that, that's your kind of minimum just to, to get in. And then there's a, a donation straight away. So it's quite a good couple of events coming up. Um, what, what are the numbers like just now? Do you know for the sleep out yet? I believe there's around about the 200 mark. Already? I, yeah, I, I think there'll be, I, I thought when it was first announced there'll be more. Um, you know, People tend to, to sign up for things late, so I, I would think there'll be, there'll be more than that on the night. Is, um, you know, I don't know whether it'll be of interest to, I mean obviously if, if under 18s are coming along they need to be accompanied by, by an adult, um, but I thought it might interest you know, local boys clubs, um, you know, maybe some of our younger teams, um, you know, groups of fans, I, I, think it'll, I think it'll take off, I, I think we'll end up with, with quite a few more than that, as I say, it's, it's all for a good cause and I'm sure it'll be a really good atmosphere. On that. That's fantastic. Right, well, so two great events coming up. Uh, Arthur Street Kitchen, as you can hear, we're probably going to have to leave soon because they're just about to open for yeah. their mornings and you could see them working away in the background. Fantastic venue, and I know how friendly they've been today and look for that kind of attitude. Same kind of things you said, the awards, but the food thing really interests me because you get it done at the table. Yeah, yeah, everyone's, everyone's you know, no, no one's going to have to move about. Um, the staff in here on the night will be will be fantastic, will be treated very well. As I say, they've been fantastic to us in the last four years. And, um, you know, I'm just delighted to be able to hold it here, um, a place that's given us this kind of backing. And the staff, you know, I was at the Hollybush for, for dinner the other night and the staff there were talking about it and how excited they were. You know, hope, they're hoping to work here on the night. And, um, yeah, it's, if we can get 300 plus people here at an event, you know, bang in the centre of town, then it'll be a... It would be fantastic. Thanks again, Graham. No problem.